getting on the phone can be nerve wracking. It really can. It can be pretty stressful feeling. Uh, but I want to take away those fears and those concerns because I'm providing you with the words. Here we're providing you a script framework, okay? So this is something you can use to hang the words on. You can, you can use it to build your confidence and get moving on the phone because it's very important for you to have uh, the objective of doing at least, okay, five conversations a day, all right? Five days a week. That's 25 a week. And I don't mean, I don't mean dials. Okay. Not five dials. Now we we've already gotten a bunch of leads here. We're calling the leads. We're going to call some of those positive and maybe sounding responses. We don't call the no's. We don't call the negative responses. So we're just dealing with the people who are interested in talking to us about something creative. Cause remember what our text templates were. All right. So that's the type of lead we're dealing with here. We're going to want to set a goal of having five conversations a day. Okay. So you'll want to have your plan laid out on a daily basis or scraping and texting or a weekly basis where you're scraping and texting, but you're going to have enough leads. Uh, probably 20 or 25 leads a day that you can call and speak with at least five. Okay. Once you get on a good rhythm of this, this is going to be more powerful than you can imagine. This consistency is going to really make you successful rather than floundering and failing and learning how to do one deal and then not knowing how you got there. And this is how you set up a business. Okay, I want to show you the call script framework here. Uh, before we get going on it, um, there is the purpose here of using this formula to practice and make live calls. Okay, that's right. I want you to practice and make, make live calls on those leads. All right, using this script framework, you're going to one, disqualify and fire the unmotivated sellers in three minutes or less. Okay. You're going to get rid of the bad ones. And it's very important that you do this in three minutes or less, because if you're spending all your time talking to C leads, that's what I call a C lead is someone that wants to be, needs to be fired. <laughs> it's a bad prospect. I'm never going to do the deal with this person. I'm, so I want you to make a commitment. Never, ever, ever call another C lead ever again, if you can help it. Okay. Never spend more than three minutes on the phone with one if you get on the phone with one. All right. So that is kind of the process of our texting and our our text templates. And then the, the script here, the, the framework here is for you to be able to disqualify all of the folks that you're going to be calling really quickly. Okay. So you don't spend hours and hours talking to people you'll never do the deal with. Isn't that smart? Okay. So one, you're going to disqualify and fire unmotivated sellers in three minutes or less. Number two, you're going to make irresistible offers to motivated sellers. And number three, you're going to build a huge beehive of follow-up worthy leads. Okay. That is really what I refer to as the A lead the B lead and the C lead. Okay. That's what you're going to find when you do this conversation with good tone, you're going to find at the end that you had a C lead, a B lead or an A lead. Okay. So keep that in mind when you're making phone calls, when you're, when you're practicing these live calls on your leads. All right. Now I want you to use this formula. And I want you to use the objections cheat sheet. We also have some flashcards that you can order down there. Okay. That's really nice. Flashcards are for the objections. These are the objections flashcards. I'm also giving you the Ninja objections audio so you can play that and you don't have to, uh, you know, try to figure out what to say. Just use my words. Listen to me do it. And it's important to listen. Flashcards are great. I love those. Everybody ought to have them. But 
the audio is important because the tone is so important, right? So 10% of our conversation is going to be the words, which I'm going to give you and in a subsequent subsequent video here. But then the the other 90% is the tone, right? How you said it, you know, the the rhythm, the the meter of it all, you know, the, the, the volume, you know, the emphasis on certain words, okay? It changes everything. <laughs> it changes everything. It's crazy. All right? So with that in mind, talk with conviction. Do you really believe? Do you really believe in what you're doing? You better, because I believe in you. Okay, number three, record all your calls. All right, Vocaroo, there's a link here uh, on the module for you. Vocaroo is a free website where you can record your, your calls. And just get consistent with this. Put this on the calendar. You want to spend about two hours a day, probably no more than that, getting started, just doing phone calling. Okay, just calling these leads and categorizing them as a b or c okay most of them are going to be c you're going to find a few b and you're going to find maybe an a in there too and that's what you're going for the a's and the b's all right so you can skim down through the rest of the framework and we will cover this more in further videos um, in this module so hang tight and we'll get into how to go about making the phone call to your seller leads all right so don't sweat it i'm going to give you the words and i want to show you the right tone and then all you have to do is just learn practice to replicate that reproduce that then get your flashcards out okay and practice your flashcards okay these are objections handling objections like for example how do i know the people you put in there will buy the house Great question. Flip it over. There's my answer. Yeah, I understand. It seems like you really want a commitment that the house will be sold and you can be done. What if I suggested we use something different than a lease with an option to buy? What if I change the agreements to a lease with a purchase and sale agreement commitment? Does that make you feel more comfortable or maybe not? Boom. Okay, so this is all laid out for you. This has all been prepared for you for such a time as this. So fear not, just move forward and let's get really good at this skill because this skill right here is the most important skill there is in the entire biz. Okay, I, I didn't mean to rhyme right there. <laughs> it just happened to rhyme. 